Just wanted to say a quick note before I start the video. If you just clicked on my channel, you won't have a clue what I'm talking about. But for those people who actually, you know, watch my videos, thank you to all my new subscribers. Appreciate the love. This video was filmed um, before I lost my Chihuahua Mini Moo. Not gonna cry. I was putting off editing it because obviously I have to see her and I'm still fucking heartbroken. If it's confusing that Mini is in this one, the little short haired chihuahua. She obviously has died, so um, it's gonna be a happy video. It was filmed before and I couldn't face editing it, so. There you go. And if you've never seen my face before, you can watch some of the old videos to explain what I'm talking about. Okay, enjoy the video. It's not sad, I promise. I want to make it to McDonald's before the hash browns there. It's gonna be tight. Corona time! We're gonna see what the day is like with an Italian greyhound. Bit hot. Bit hot. What about? People watching me like Just dropped my camera on the ground. Miracle it survived, really. <laughs> this is so shy. They will get into strangers' cars. They think they can fly. We'll piss in your bed. Set up this morning and I'm feeling nothing. Sleep from yesterday, pop out of my jeans. Oh. The date was 24 of July. You hold my hand for the first time. I thought there was a time. Oh. And my necklace that you bought me is gone And my heart hurts, but I should lay alone Like there's nothing wrong Nothing wrong I can't move on Need to get away from you To make myself good I'm about to lose control So tell me how it can Morning wee-wees I look so attractive. <sighs> Welcome to a day in the life of an Italian greyhound. Always water your sermon or they will not grow. I got ready. It's feeding time for the dogs. I'm trying to hurry up because I want to treat myself and go to McDonald's and that's what we're gonna do with some hash browns because it's pandemic and if you can't treat yourself with some hash browns then, well it is rather dire. My mom's in bed because she's been on nights last night so I've got to be really quiet. It's not my strong suit. I'm rather loud. Normally she's speedy gone girl and you can't see her so here you go have a nice up close shot of Bambi. One thing you might want to know about Italian Greyhounds is they're rather fussy. Mine is, but then the next minute they will run around looking for everything to eat, including shit. It appears she would rather eat the shit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hurry up because McDonald's stopped serving breakfast at 11 and I'm desperate for half broth. <laughs> talk at a bloody normal volume now or maybe a loud volume for some am i blurry excuse my blurry face i want to make it to mcdonald's before the hash browns end let's go it's gonna be tight we made it but is there any hash browns left that is the question on my lips because this time in the morning you never know you can run out of hash browns playing greyhound in the back <laughs> hi can i get a uh, four hash browns can i get anything else uh, can I get a bottle of water? Anything else? No, that's it, thank you. Oh, fuck, okay. Have a nice afternoon. Thank you. He was rather friendly. Well, it's busy in McDonald's. Apparently it's Corona McDonald's this morning. Corona time! I'm hungry. I got four because I got one for the doggies. Because I love them. I'm good to my babies. My fur children. Cheers, thank you very much. Hello! That was a bit of bloody chaos, wasn't it? I got my hash brown. McDonald's hash browns are the bomb.com. We had to drive 20 minutes to McDonald's and no, I didn't drive 20 minutes just for the McDonald's. 
maybe I do. I'm in a place where there's lots of dog walks, so we're gonna see what the day is like with an Italian greyhound. You're looking very elegant this morning. Give me a kiss, give me a kiss. One thing you should probably know about Italian greyhounds is they can be rather aloof. You got fluff on your nose. So you'll want all their attention because they're bloody gorgeous and they look like little supermodel dogs and they're not interested, they just want to see what's going on around the corner, you know? I made a cup of tea before I left the house. Actually quite warm, I was thinking it was going to be cold. Error in judgement. My mum has been on nights last night so I thought, right, at the ass, go and get some fucking Ash brands. Ooh, isn't she pretty? Look at the steam. Don't worry my little lady, I have got one for you, but it's a bit hot. A bit hot. A bit hot. They're not very elegant eaters. What about? <laughs> There's people watching me vlog, but I'm not even bothered. Because my poodle is blind, if I just give her something without holding back her ears, she'll chew it into her hair and then it's a bloody nightmare. It just hash brown ears and no one wants that. Good girl. Come here, Toby. Good boy. Oh. Is it too hot? It is too hot, I can tell. For those of you who might have seen my last um, vlog, this one has not been very well and she's been doing really good this week. She's um, picked up a lot, so... I'm going to try and give her a bit of hash brown. <laughs> oh shit. Too hot. I don't know how well you can see me. I have touched one thingy with greasy hands. There's cars to the left of me, cars to the right, here I am stuck in the... Oh, very busy this morning. Everyone's getting them corona time hash browns. Let's face it, it's nothing else to do in the middle of a fucking pandemic. It's actually really pretty. To the right of me, there is like castle ruins. Castle ruins. I didn't sleep very well tonight because my mum was on night. And I still have this thing where when I'm in the house on my own, all of a sudden everything is going to kill me. I don't have cleaning OCD. I've got, I might burn down the house and something might kill me OCD, which is the funnest kind to have. Hello! Much time has passed. We are at a place where I'm going to walk the dog. It's starting to snow, so we shall take a quick dog walk and home again. I don't want to get caught in the snow. The first things first, I've got to dress the naked dog. Italian greyhounds are naked, so you cannot let them go out naked, otherwise they will freeze to death. So, we... Out of all the dogs you can have, Italian greyhounds do require clothing. This is, in fact, a Christmas jumper, but it fit her really well, so... She is Rudolph all year round. Ta -da! No longer naked. I need the toilet, and there is really no toilets out here, so... Not good. <laughs> so... We're out the car a long time later, painful story. I had to drive all the way to a toilet and back. It is fucking freezing. There is snow flying everywhere like a blizzard. It is absolutely bitter. I don't think we'll be staying very long. Let's just do a little bit of walking and then get back in the car so we don't die of frostbite. Just dropped my camera on the ground. Miracle it survived, really? <laughs> this is, oh shite, what is going? I think I've broken my camera because now it's all dark. Hello, good morning. Oh, sniffly. So some time has passed since I last filmed. I was filming a day in the life of an Italian greyhound. A day in the life of your sermit, yes. It was a bit of a fucking disaster really. So I actually lost the rest of the footage and I don't know why I'm talking like I've got Cockney accent. Not even a good one for that matter. Went all the way out to what, the dogs? Needed the toilet in the middle of nowhere, went to a loo, couldn't find a fucking loo. Anyway, we didn't stay out for, for a walk for very long because it was freezing, it was a blizzard. And then she decided, I know what I'll do. On the way back to the car, I'll jump into a complete stranger's fucking car. Italian greyhounds are a beautiful 
but crazy bastard, basically. They're a wonderful mix of beauty and no grace. A scary mix of delicateness, breaking easily and thinking they can fly. It's not a good combination. I would say that Italian greyhounds are not for the faint fucking hearted. If you're thinking about getting one of these beauties and bringing them into your life, you should know the cons. The pros are obvious, beautiful. They warm your bed at night. You will never ever need to buy a hot water bottle ever again. They will get into strangers' cars. If you um, properly socialize your Italian Greyhound, they should be full of beans, plenty of the beans, all the beans. They love people and they also love dogs. Every single time without fucking fail, if we see another dog, she will run over to them whether they like it or not. Sometimes more often it's not. She won't come back until she damn well feels like it. She has definitely got a mind of her own. They are not good at recall. Obviously you can train them, but I have an animal behavior degree and I did not manage to train my sermit. She still ignores me whenever the fuck she feels like it. So there's that. They think they can fly. They will jump off any height if you allow them to. If you have a sofa and it is quite high, they will jump off of it. Not just the front, the back, the side, any angle. If it is too high for their little legs and they might break them, they don't care. They will jump anyway. When she was two years old, she broke her leg because she decided it was a fun idea to escape from the soft crate I had her in. They are delicate, but you also can't wrap them up in fucking cotton, cotton wool. Anytime you're out on walk and they see a cliff, they will go and investigate it. They're very aloof. They're basically the supermodel of the fucking dog world. One example of how mental they are. Back in the day, I didn't drive. She was on a bus with me, with my chihuahuas. I would unclip their lead and they would sit there quite happily. Did the same with her, we'll never make that mistake again. The bus driver sat there and they do this thing sometimes, you know the thing where they open the door and she decided she would get her ass up and investigate. Before I could even notice what was happening, she was off the fucking bus and off on a mid-bus adventure and I had to run off the bus. It was an absolute palaver. If there is a fence in your garden and it is low, they will jump it. Mental, delicate, beautiful. They are one of the most snuggliest creatures in the world. They have the purest little heart. They will snuggle with anyone all day long. They, they love everyone basically. They will happily get under a blanket and sit with you for 12 hours of the day if you wanted to and they also will happily warm your bed any day of the fucking week. They radiate heat because they're naky. You can put loads of jumpers on them and they need it because they're cold. They will snog your face off any day of the week. You'll never need a boyfriend again. But if you socialize them well, they love all other dogs. Mine definitely does. They're a really unique little dog. You will not find another dog like an Italian ground. When they're puppies, they will pee in your bed a lot. Just bear that in mind. It, it is a thing and they're hard to house train. Hard to house train will piss in your bed. Thank you for coming to my TED talk about Italian grounds.